Sims 4, we're gonna be continuing to fix up this house that I ruined. I gave this house for free to the Free House family under the condition that they would work hard to clean it up and renovate it. Except we started with zero simoleons and now we're trying to find cheap ways to fulfill our promise. I'll link the first episode down below if you wanna learn more about the rules of this challenge. Here is our progress so far. This is what the first floor is looking like. And as a reminder of where we came from, this is an idea of what we started with. <laughs> I tried focusing mainly on cleaning up the first floor last time. So now we need to give some love to the second floor. Here are the current goals I have for today's episode. Number one, we have to clean up that second floor. I'm assigning this task to Felix, our ghostly roommate, because the other two adults in this family will be busy with our other goals today. Which brings me to goal number two. We need to get rid of Jackie's curses. Jackie embarked on a spellcasting journey last time because in order to get rid of these burnt items for free, we needed to learn the Reparo spell. Except this is a huge task for a baby spellcaster, so her powers can only take her so far. Her spells tend to backfire quite often, which caused her to develop two curses, the curse of the uncontrollable charge, and the worst one, the curse of the night wraith. Why couldn't we have just got the curse of awkward embraces or the curse of infectious laughter? We'll learn more about this later. Oh, and failing too often at spells can literally kill you, so there's that. And to take some pressure off of Jackie, we need to get to goal number three, which is to get Jacob the smog vacuum. The smog vacuum is the second strategy we can use to fix a burnt furniture, but unlocking the vacuum is a bit of a process, which I'll explain more in a little bit too. But before doing any of that, the first thing I'm doing is buying this garbage can. This one will give us a little bit of money for every piece of garbage that we throw out. And I'm also gonna buy them a dumpster, which we can replace this garbage can here with. And this way we'll be able to rummage for items and sell them that way too. I'll probably be assigning Felix to that task too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the ghosts here are causing mayhem and breaking all of my objects, so I think the next lot trait we have to get rid of is a spooky one. I didn't mind them being here at first, but not when you're breaking my things. Oh no, we have to pay our bills. How much is that gonna be? Oh my gosh, the bills are gonna take up majority of the money that I have, but I guess we have to pay it. It looks like our lights actually already got turned off. Oh yeah, we need to pay that right away. Ooh. We're back to square one, $162, no. So while the other two are at work, I'm gonna get Felix to start diving for deals in the dumpster. And while we're over here, we should probably get rid of the gross trash plants that are out here. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. We're diving and we're getting some recycled materials. I mean, it's not nothing. I think we can do it a couple times, so I'm gonna keep trying. <gasps> we found a bar stool in questionable condition, but so was everything else. And $9, see, it wasn't for nothing and that $9 we kind of needed. We also found a toilet. We're in no place to be repairing any more burnt objects than we already have, but Felix can stock up an inventory of things we can sell later once we solve all our current problems. So like I was saying, Jackie can't sleep or function properly while that Night Wraith curse is there. So since she can't sleep, I'm gonna have her start cleaning up this room. I might actually just bring this garbage can upstairs with us. This room previously belonged to a powerful spell caster named Stephen Osborne, who unfortunately passed away in this house. So I wonder if Jackie, as a baby spellcaster, feels any type of energy coming from this room, good or bad. We could potentially keep this room for her as like a magic room when we renovate. Despite Jackie being up all night, I hadn't actually seen the Night Wraith show up, not until I noticed Stephen Osborne, the spellcaster, looming around his grave. And behind him was the Night Wraith. Oh my gosh, is that him coming down? <gasps> There he is. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I was literally just gonna come down and like introduce myself to him. But in the background, we've got our really creepy, scary night wraith. Oh my gosh. Look at his eyes. And he's coming straight towards my house. Oh, I don't like you. I do not like you at all. Oh my gosh, Jackie is heading right towards it. It just went right through me. Leave my family alone. They're not the ones you want. I'm out here. Without hesitation, I introduced myself to Steven, hoping that somehow his powers could protect me. I explained everything that was going on. I learned that in order to get rid of these curses, I needed to level up in my spellcasting rank. I need to learn the decursify potion spell, and I needed to gather all the materials needed for that potion. The potion of curse cleansing can be made using one apple, one citrine, one angelfish, and one mandrake. But obviously, we have to learn that spell first. I want to see if there's a possibility that he could teach us some stuff. Oh, he's teaching me something. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love that there's a potential that they could 
could have a friendship here. Training with Steven actually brought Jackie to the Acolyte rank, which is the rank we need to be to unlock that Decursify potion. Oh, and I unlocked the Discharge ability, which empties Spellcaster Charge, which is probably gonna help us out with the magic overload. We're also gonna unlock the Power Shunt perk. So now all of the spells we cast will have less charge. And I'm gonna unlock the Experimenter perk. So when we're practicing and casting spells, we're gonna experience less failure. So I think I'm gonna head to the Magic Realm to search for those materials and ask Mana to teach me more spells. I went around to every vendor in Caster's Alley and I managed to get some of the materials that I needed, but not all of them. So instead of giving up, I searched around the realm to see if I could collect materials that way. I also wanted to ask Mana if she could teach us some more spells. And looking at the spell book, we still had a long way to go before we could even get close to learning the curse cleansing potion. Also, work is calling. Do I want to go to work in an hour? I I'm in no place to be skipping work. So maybe Mana can teach us real quick and then we'll head to work. Oh, she agreed. What are we going to learn? We learned the delicioso spell. Create a tasty meal out of thin air. That would have been great before I had my fridge, but it's a little late for that. After a long night of magical research, I went home and went to work. Jacob actually had an exciting day ahead of him too, because for his goal to get the smog vacuum, we needed him to get a promotion. Reaching this promotion will unlock the electronic drafting tablet, which we need so he can start drafting blueprints. So everyone is heading off again to work in school. Ali is going to be sent to daycare and let's hope for that promotion. <gasps> I think we got a promotion. Felix got it. I mean, okay, Felix is slowly taking over the world. I mean, he already has a pretty high charisma skill, but it's funny that he's just like thriving and not even trying. Yes, Jacob got promoted. We now have the electronic drafting tablet in my inventory and we can start drafting those blueprints. Once he drafts the blueprints, they're usually in poor quality so he can present them to other sims to get feedback. Then he can modify those blueprints to make them higher quality and then he has to submit them to his boss through the mailbox. Doing this can eventually unlock the blueprint for the smog vacuum, but I've heard it's not an easy task and it can take a while. And since Jackie is still the only one able to fix the burnt items in this house, I was still having her cast the Reparo spell, but the curses tied to Jackie were causing spells to fail so often, things were catching fire constantly. And because of this, unfortunately, Jackie developed a third curse. No, oh, I think we got another curse. Jackie Freehouse got the curse of scrambled spells from casting too many failed times. Oh my gosh, which makes every spell we cast have completely random outcomes. I can't handle any more of these curses. At this point, we've got the bases fully loaded in the curse game. I don't even know if you can have more than three, but if you can, this girl is sprinting for a home run. Also, Jacob is literally experiencing burnout <laughs> from putting out all of these fires, which negatively impacts his work performance and promotions. He'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up recovery. So since mana wasn't handing it over. I spent a ton of time trying to learn the potion by myself by experimenting with the cauldron we conveniently had outside. And I swear as time went on, our experience with the night wraith got worse and worse. In the beginning, I only saw him at night, but he even started terrorizing Jackie in the middle of the day, stalking me around and scaring me wherever I went. We need that potion now more than ever. So I ended up discovering a different way to cure Jackie. Let me tell you, I was so freaking happy when I was looking through the rewards catalog and I discovered the potion of curse cleansing for only 500 points. That is a steal. I have 900 in the bank from my spellcraft aspiration. So I bought the potion and I gave it to Jackie immediately. And even though this was a more mundane approach, this was such a magical moment and that made her become a spellcaster master. Look at us go. Jackie Freehouse is overcome by a strong magical force as all of the negative energy leaves their body. Jackie Freehouse has officially removed all of her curses. They're no longer showing up and we have more talent points, which I'm going to use to unlock the spectral reach, meaning I can cast from longer distances. And I'm going to be unlocking the master caster, which means casting spells no longer fails when the sim is in a normal range. So with all of the perks that we learned and with Jackie being free of her curses, we should finally be able to fix everything up on the bottom floor. But first, I am sending this poor girl to bed. She has not slept in a literal week, which is like an entire season in The Sims. It's literally winter outside. So Jackie gets to sleep finally. And in the morning, I want to repair everything in the old ghost room so we can build an office. Jacob is feeling down. He needs a proper place to work. But first we have to get rid of all the burnt items. Let's see if we can use the Reparo's 
spell on this final table here so that I can delete it. That way Jacob can come in here and start drafting using an actual like desk. Please don't backfire. I'm so tired of these fires. We have successfully repaired everything in this room so we can finally come in here and change everything. I'm going to change the swatches of the lights here. I'm able now to delete everything in this room so we can sell all of the stuff that we repaired except for this burnt light that I didn't notice but don't worry we're gonna fix it. I think I'm gonna sell even like these curtains. Beautiful. Okay let's transform this room. First thing we can do is change the wallpaper. We're gonna need a desk. This one from Dream Home Decorator isn't too pricey and our computer that we haven't been able to use at all is sitting over here on this burnt table. We did fix that up already so we're gonna have a laptop in here. We'll grab a cheap chair. We can grab a lamp for in here from growing together. We'll decorate with like cheap things like this cheap plant. I want something nice and cheap to put on the walls. Maybe we can grab like this picture here. We can put a cheap mirror right there. I definitely shouldn't be spending money on decor but this family has been through so much already. They deserve a special room here. So you know what? I'm not gonna make this just an office. We're also gonna add some cute things for the kids. They haven't had a toy box this entire time. We can give them a toy trunk. They have a bookshelf right there. I can give them a cute chair like this bear chair from base game. I've been loving this rug here from growing together. I'm going to put that in here in that swatch. This is going to be an interesting color palette in here. Not really what I was planning, but let's roll with it. Maybe we can give them like orange accent walls. Maybe we could also add this little couch here. I love this one. It's from the pastel pop kit. I want to put an end table over here in the corner. And I think on top of here, I'm going to put a TV. We don't currently have a TV and I'm not buying anything special. I might actually do this one, but now at least the family can come in here, watch TV, they can play, get some work done. And maybe I'll actually move the easel into this room so that Allie doesn't have to share. It kind of makes more sense in here anyway. I haven't cluttered this room up as much as I want to. I don't want to spend all my money, but this is looking pretty cute so far. And hopefully Jacob can get a lot of work done in here. Oh my gosh, look, Joey is playing with his toys for the first time. I need to get Allie to come in here and play too. That's so cute. The two of them are playing in here. How adorable is this? And the random fog. This one's been visiting us quite a lot. You take that trash. Look how cute. What are you doing with that snipe? <laughs> Is that a present? It's a trash fruit. I'm giving snipe my homework as a gift. And they just became acquaintances. I want to become friends with you. This dog literally took my homework. It's his favorite gift. My homework is his favorite gift. That is adorable and ironic. Felix has been cleaning up the floor today and I think most of the trash in the second floor has been cleaned up. I think we just have to worry about the floors now. I'm also trying to repair this previous alien room, which is clearly taking home to some new guests here. One more thing, just repair the desk, please. Yes, she did it. Yes, okay, she's repaired everything in this room. We can renovate this one too. I think we're gonna turn this room here into Joey's room, so I'm selling everything in here. We've got to clean that little bit on the floor, but then we can finally renovate this room for Joey. So Joey was our artistic prodigy sim. He needed his own space where he could relax, play, and do his homework because currently he's failing in school. <laughs> I'm replacing the light that we had in here with this one from Growing Together. He's finally going to have his own bed. They've kind of just been sleeping wherever in like any of the beds that I fixed already, but we can finally get a proper kid bed for Joey. I'm going to give him this one here. We could add maybe a little cloud rug there. I want to get him a creativity table. So we're going to give him this one here, the cardboard one, just so that he can actually be creative, use his skills. We can add some of the cute tree decor in this room. I am kind of feeling like the darker, like warmer color scheme for this family. Their journey has definitely not been bright. <laughs> On this side, I'm adding a bookshelf. I feel like I should have kept the one that I just sold, but it's fine. We also need a dresser, so I'm going to use the trunks there. We could also give him this little backpack here with with the owl on it. We'll use this light over the bed. We're almost getting like an outdoorsy theme in here. Outdoorsy meets creative. I actually moved a couple things around so that I can add in this desk here. It's got some pictures and creativity things on it and it'll be a spot that Joey can do his homework in his own room. I'm also adding this guy here over in the corner maybe. And now we have this super adorable little safari inspired room for Joey. We've got his creativity table, some like artwork and stuff. We have some toys and stuff for him to play with. We're starting to see maybe what the overall theme is going to be for this house and I think it's going to be really cute. There Joey goes to sleep in his bed for the first time. It is so cute in here. We're going to be spending some time in here for sure. I also wanted to clear out the final items to renovate the toddler room. I only have two more items to repair in here. Oh this is actually not burnt so I can sell that and I have one more item
item in here to get rid of. I just need my repair spell to work on this one last light. Oh my gosh, I finally got this light. We can finally fix the toddler room. We're gonna sell that. We can definitely get rid of, I think, a few lot trays. So we're gonna get rid of the volcanic activity one and the creepy crawlers. We're going to sell that mirror. She can finally have her own little dresser in here. I eventually wanna renovate the outside. So all of these like dark windows are gonna be changed eventually. They make everything in this house look a lot darker. So I'm just gonna cover them up for now. I can buy her a dollhouse. Maybe we can add like a little cat lamp back here. We can give her some pictures on the wall. One thing I actually did not buy yet is the defender lights. We actually haven't really been having an issue with nightmares for the kids, but I am gonna buy them one just in case. I don't want them to be having any like restless nights. We've got enough of that happening. Oh, we could buy her the cute moon lamp. We'll upgrade Blarfy to a cute little cat. I'm actually gonna cover those windows there completely. I'm adding some cute hanging clothes here. And up here, we can just add some cute like little clutter things as well. Maybe clutter up here like diapers. Some of these baskets can go in here. Oh, and this cute thing can go back here somewhere. So this is our renovated toddler room. She has so much more stuff to do in here. We have a dresser. We've got some more toys. I'm glad we covered up those windows. It makes it look a lot less harsh in here. And honestly, I feel like we could keep renovating. We have the money. It's just getting rid of the burnt stuff, which is so hard. But now that Jackie is no longer cursed, I'm going to test her limits by attempting to get rid of everything burnt on the main level. At the moment, she's literally repairing this entire table while standing in her bedroom upstairs with no sign of magic overload in sight. I'm getting her to repair all of these bookshelves, although I might end up keeping them. Maybe we can just change a couple swatches here. Same as the dining room. I'm gonna see what it looks like if we just change some swatches on a couple things. We're repairing this table, these chairs, and this broken mirror in the background. And now when her spellcaster charge gets closer to being overcharged, we can cast the discharge spell. Jackie can recover on her own. I'm gonna repair everything in the bedrooms on the main level so that next time we can get straight to renovating the bedrooms down here. It was so satisfying watching all of this burnt furniture change. And she was actually pretty quick with it too since we didn't have to move anywhere anymore. Jackie managed to repair every single thing on the first floor here with no problems at all. Unfortunately, the only goal we did not complete today was getting Jacob the smog vacuum, despite him showing Felix literally every blueprint he's ever made. But even still, we should have absolutely no problem fixing up the objects in the next episode on the second floor. So I feel like in the next episode, we'll just have to do a little bit more cleaning and casting and we should be able to renovate this entire house. So I'm gonna leave this here. I hope you guys like this episode. And if you're liking this series, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.